Hey everybody, Anthony Hartwig with you. We are in a West Branch softball player profile. We are joined by Addison Craven. Addie, thank you so much for taking the time to join us. Thank you for having me. All right, here you are as a, officially an upperclassman. You're three of four in the West Branch program. What's it been like so far this year, you know, stepping into a little bit of a bigger leadership role, being an upperclassman and dealing with all that? Um, We've definitely are handling it well. We have become leaders because we had such a small senior class last year. So we have pretty much the same core team. We have one, two freshmen who have been playing this year. So it's like, we all know what we're doing. We all trust each other and it's yeah. it's nothing new because we've all been leading last year and just continuing it on this year. Yeah, what's it like kind of like, you're not a senior yet, but you're so experienced. You're almost a, uh, a de facto senior on this team when it comes to experience and leadership. What's that been like for you? Um, it hasn't really been hard or anything because I had that role last year. I mean, I feel like my role this year and last year are pretty similar because we had such we had one senior last year and we only have three this year. So it's just taking my experience playing softball and just giving it to all my teammates and just working together and figuring things out. In the last two years where you've had to kind of do the exact same thing and your role with your leadership, how have you seen your leadership style grow? How have you grown not just as a player with the stats, but as a leader of this team? I think definitely taking aside my like mental part of the game because whenever I'm like down on myself, I have to know that like I still have to pick up my teammates as well because it's a team. It's not just, I think, focusing more as a team and not how I'm performing and more of the team. So definitely I think over the years I've learned to put the team ahead of myself a lot more than I did in the past. When you were transitioning into this year and you're getting ready for the season and you kind of set your things that you want to work on this year, what were some goals that you had this season? What were some things that you wanted to see uh, you either improve on or get better at or, or achieve this junior season? I definitely wanted to put the ball in play more and I love hitting triples and last year I was so close to the triple record so that's something I wanted to work for definitely um, less strikeouts and um, errors just lowering those numbers there. When you think about things that you did to prepare yourself for all those, what were some of the works or some of the work that you did in the off season to prepare for this season? What were some of the things you were working on to achieve those goals? Definitely a lot of glove work and T work, um, working with my travel team and open gyms for high school. Definitely a lot of just, you know, everyday drills, doing glove work and T work every day. The little things will like see better results. I feel like every softball player has the one aspect of the game that, that, you know, comes a little bit more natural to them or they feel like is a little bit more uh, easy to kind of manage. What is that for you? Are you? Do you think you're a little bit more of a natural hitter, a natural defender? Which one do you think uh, is the quote-unquote strength of your game? I think I'm a better hitter than fielder. I don't know. I've just – hitting's always been very natural to me, and my swing has always been so natural. Nothing's ever really been, like, tweaked about it or anything. It's always just been, like, my swing. All right, you're standing in the box. Uh, you know, that moment is one thing that only softball or baseball players know, what it's like standing in that box with just you and the pitcher, nothing yeah. else matters. What's it like for you? What what kind of mentality are you in, and what's that feeling like for you hitting in, 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 the, in the batter's box? When I'm in the box, I try and zone everything out. I don't listen to what the people in the stands are saying. I just – I stay locked in, I guess, and I just tell myself – just hit the ball hard and make contact because when you're trying too hard, that's when mm -hmm. bad things happen. So I try not to think a little bit too much. I just tell myself to hit the ball hard. Do you have a routine between pitches that you like? Do you tell yourself something? Do you keep your mind in the in the in the zone? What do you do between pitches? What's your routine? I just I like look at my bat. I have a certain spot I look at every time, and I just take a deep breath and just tell myself to hit the ball hard. <laughs> Um, when you hit, when you get a good, good solid contact, what's that feel like for you? I mean, everyone kind of explains this feeling as another thing that you can't really, you can't really put into words what it feels like when you make good contact on the ball. From your perspective, is there any better feeling in any sports that you play? 
No, I mean, when you hit the ball hard, you you just feel it like your hands like it, you don't feel anything. It just Right. feels like I, I don't even know you just like zone out like it just doesn't feel real in the moment. Let's talk about your softball journey. Obviously, you love this sport so much. You put so much time into it. When did you start? And when did you kind of start to feel like there was a transition between it was something you were just doing for fun and it was something that you wanted to pour a lot of time and effort into? Yeah. When I was younger, I mean, I played coach pitch and it was always just that I was there for fun. I mostly did it because, you know, it's been in my family. But as I was about 10, I got introduced to like travel softball and it was a whole nother world. Like I loved being at tournaments over the weekend. It was it's all I've ever known, like being at tournaments over the weekend, going on long road trips to the tournaments. I mean, that's what's I think it's more fun than anything, but just being with my team and knowing how much I love the sport and how much fun I have playing it, like really makes you want to keep, like, it just makes you want to do it all the time. Back in early March, you made a really big decision and, and you, you kind of planted yourself in the future. I don't want to take that, you know, announcement away from you. Obviously you've already made the fish on your socials, but Yeah. for anyone that doesn't follow you or maybe is watching this for the first time and trying to learn more about you, why don't you tell everyone where you're going to go to play uh, at the next level? I'm committed to play softball at the University of Mountain Union. All right, a Purple Raider, and uh, what were some of the things that, that made that decision easy for you when you went on campus, met the coaches, met the, met the team? What were some things that really made you feel like you were home and that you wanted to be a Purple Raider? As soon as I walked on campus, I it felt like home. I mean, Alliance has been my home my whole life, so I don't know, like, where else. I can't imagine myself anywhere else. And when I walked on campus, it didn't even feel like Alliance. And it's it felt comfortable because I – The coaching staff was, I loved it. It felt like Coach Simons was a mixture of every coach I've ever had and just her philosophies was some, everything I've like believed in. Um, I know some of the teammates, I mean, I've played with Sydney Mercer, so that's a little bit more comforting. My freshman year, she was a senior and it's gonna be the same thing again. So I think it was just comfort and knowing that down the road there is my family and my family can be at everything. So I think it was just comforting. Yeah, I was going to ask about obviously being able to play with Sydney again and Yeah. how much that played into a role. I mean, like knowing, like you said, there, there are players that played for West Branch, like Sydney. I think they have a couple of Marlington players on the team as well. What's it like to be able to go into a program where you know some of the players and, and it's kind of a local feel and, and you know exactly what you're getting into? I mean, yeah, me and Sydney have always been super close. And I mean, I played third and she played short. We were right there. So it's like she always was like, Addie, go to Mount, go to Mount. So I was like, I don't know. And then I just went as soon as I went on campus, I was like, Sydney's right. Like, this is where I want to be. And my two coaches for high school, Coach um, Heath and Coach Maddie, they went to Mount. So it's like a little bit of alumni through West Branch. So it just felt right. Um, obviously you're a multiple sport athlete as well. I I'm wondering what it's like to transition into sports and what it feels like to always keep yourself busy and, and always, you know, put, pour everything you have into the sports that you're playing in the seasons you're playing them. I mean, softball season never really ends for me because during volleyball, I'm always working for softball because it's the sport I want to focus on. But I don't know. It's definitely like the pace of the game. I guess volleyball is always moving. You don't really get time to think. Softball, you get every pitch every time you're in the dugout. I think softball is more mental because you can make a mistake and you don't have anything hit to you for who knows how long. But volleyball, you're always heads up. So definitely the mental part is definitely the toughest. So being being the mental side being so different with volleyball, like you said, being a more of a momentum sport and you having to stay locked in because the next ball is coming right over. And obviously softball, like you said, you have to stew on any kind of Yeah. mistake you make for a while. What does each sport teach you going into the next? So what do you take from softball to learn in, in the volleyball? And then what is that volleyball mindset of always having to deal with the next play right away? What do you take from that to take into softball? Volleyball definitely teaches me to move on quick because in volleyball, if you're struggling, the ball's going to find you. And in softball, it's the same way. If you're in the field and you make an error, the ball's going to find you. So you just got to tell yourself to, because I 
when I make an error, I want the ball. I want the ball hit to me. I want to redeem myself. And in volleyball, it's going to find you. In softball, it's the same way. So I think just, you know, shaking things off and getting the next one, definitely. With travel and volleyball and the, the high school softball, you've always been able to be coached by different people, different mindsets, different philosophies. What's that done for your career to be able to say, you know, I get coached by this style, this style, this style, and you know all these different coaches teaching you in a little bit different ways? It teaches you to be open-minded toward things and that people have different aspects and that you can take it and use it in different ways. Just because the coach tells you one thing, it might not work for you. It's just an idea, but it definitely teaches you to be open-minded towards things and that there's multiple ways to do one thing. You know, every athlete thrives under different style of coaches. You know, some athletes like this style or that style. If you could go into like a chemistry lab and pour in like the perfect <laughs> coaching style for you and say, this is how I want to be coached. What do you think it is for you? What gets you, what gets the most out of you when you talk about coaching styles? Definitely hard, um, works you hard in practice. I strive on defense. I think defense is so important to win games. I mean, offense is definitely important too, but I think working on defense a lot for me and just knowing that, I don't know, Coach Simons, when I went to my visit, something about her just stood out to me. So when it was just like, I don't even know how to word it. Just whatever works for you, they're not going to change, but they just want you to be open-minded towards things and strive on defense and just the little things like glove work, tee work, like the little things win games. You know, every coach has a good mixture of encouraging and sternness when yes. they need to be. Are you more of someone that, that do you want more sternness or more encouragement out of a coach? Which one do you want more? I like sternness, but I also like to have a good time. So I like a good in between of like having fun, but getting the job done. And I think our coaching staff here at West Branch does a really good job of that. Like we always laugh and have a good time, but we all, we know when we need to focus and lock things down. Perfect segue because we're all having fun. And I want to know how you have fun. What are some things that you do outside of softball for fun that, to take your mind off the sport? Um, I like to hang out with my friends. We We go to Canes a lot. And just, I'm not a big person to, like, go out and do things. I like to just chill and, like, hang out with my friends. Canes, there's no better place to go. Uh, no. What, what's your favorite? Do you like the chicken, the, the crinkle fries? What What's kind of your go-to order at Canes? I get the chicken and the fries and the bread. Mm. The um, bread's the best. Now, is this Canes, like, your post-game meal, too? Like, a big win, let's go celebrate at Canes? Or is that more of an off-season thing? No, after a win, we normally get a Chipotle or somewhere closer because there's not Canes around here, but Chipotle is usually where we go. Got to get a Canes in Beloit. Come on, guys. What are we doing? I know. Um, when you think of off-the-field memories that you have with your team, some of the favorite off-the-field activities that you guys do, what what the, what things come to mind? Um, Shopping for senior night. Uh, the juniors are in charge of that, and we just went a few weeks ago, and it's so fun because – just hanging out with them outside of softball. Because some of us, like Clary McKay, doesn't go to our school. She goes to MCCTC. So just like hanging out with them outside of softball is just seeing a different aspect of them. So wait, wait you take the seniors shopping for their senior night? Or do you guys no, do that yourself? the juniors the go buy the senior okay. stuff for That's their right. senior night. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. I was like, wait a minute. It's, it got to be a surprise <laughs> what you're getting for senior night. Next year, you're a senior. I I'm going to give some help to the juniors of next year. When they're shopping, what are some things that, that would be in a nice gift bag for Addie Craven? What are some things that you like that uh, might might show up in a gift bag for Addie Craven? Maybe I like nerd clusters in Celsius. Mm. So those might be some good things. Um, we, we're talking about you know bags. Obviously, snack bags are a great part of road trips on, on high school athletics. What makes a good snack bag? What are some things that when you open up a bag and it's a snack bag, oh, this is this is a great A. This is a great A snack bag right here. I like Cheez-Its. I eat Cheez-Its before every game. I, 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 <laughs> Cheez-Its and pretzels. Oh, now, like, are we talking like the OG Cheez-Its or do you like one of the specialty flavors? I like the toasted ones. Mm. Is that, Now, if I ask, like, your favorite dugout snack, are you going Cheez-Its too? Do you bring them in the dugout and munch on them during the game? I don't really eat food in the dugout. No? You're not a no. snacker. 
Okay, no. so what what's your favorite dugout re- refreshment? The drink? Are you a Gatorade, water, uh, energy drink? What what do you drink in the dugout? I drink water. Sometimes I'll have a body armor, but very very rare. What's your favorite flavor of body armor when you do have it? A strawberry banana. If they came to you and said, "Hey, Addy, we need a new flavor. We need we need you to come up with one." What do you think would be a nice flavor that they don't have yet? Do they have a raspberry one? I really like. I don't think they have raspberry. We'll go with raspberry, and we'll we'll <laughs> say Addy Craven came up with the idea. And if they come out raspberry with it, you have to body get, armor. You got to get some re- residuals to Addy Craven if you come out with raspberry. It's a rule now. <laughs> um, Addy, one of the things that we like to do at the end of these player profiles, of course, you've been here before. We like to give the player the opportunity to take the spotlight off themselves a little bit and shine on the people in their life that support them and are there for them all the time. So I want to do that for you. I want to give you the time to send out your shout outs and your thanks to the people in your life. I want to say thank you to my mom, my family, all the coaches and coaching staff at Mount and the coaches here and my travel coaches. Addie, we want to thank you so much for giving us your time. We appreciate it so much. We wish you the best of luck the rest of the season, and we can't wait to talk again real soon. Thank you.